Hi guys, good afternoon, and welcome back once again to The Edward. I'm your host, Eddie, where in today's video, I will be sharing my thoughts and reaction with you guys of what I thought of that juicy, scary little teaser we got from one of my most anticipated shows of this year that is thankfully still coming despite circumstances, The Haunting of Bly Manor. Fortunately, this show wrapped production including, well, I don't know if it's including post-production, but this show wrapped filming right before COVID shut everything down in terms of businesses and filming for like TV and movies. I believe post-production on this was done remotely or could still be done safely. And that is why we're getting this show when it was originally slated to come out, which was fall of 2020. You know, Haunting of Hill House was so good. It was one of my new favorite shows from Netflix in recent years. And it was meant to be just a one-off miniseries, but it was so damn good that they are now making it an anthology show with the second season completely unrelated to the first one. And the only thing that connects the two is that it's from the same creator, Mike Flanagan. And of course, it stars a couple of the regulars uh, who were actors in The Haunting of Hill House. So now they're playing completely different characters in a different setting, and it looks great. The, brief, the teaser, as brief and short as it was, gave us a pretty good idea of what to expect in terms of horror and creepiness when it comes to this uh, new season and this new setting. I'm very, very much looking forward to it. I was so let down and disappointed by the steaming pile of shit that was the movie The Turning that came out earlier this year. And it's too bad because The Turning is based off the same book or story that this show is based off of. However, I've got complete faith in Mike Flanagan and his cast and crew, so I don't doubt this is going to be anything but amazing. So I'm very, very excited for this show. I'm so so happy that it's still coming despite the ongoing state of the world and um, you know it looks great now they're throwing creepy dolls into the mix amongst scary looking ghosts and it was so creepy and yet surprisingly humorous at the very end with the little girl peacefully humming to herself and we hear this demonic groaning behind her and it's so scary and then she calmly turns around and simply tells it to shush and the amazing thing is that the groaning stops it's as if the ghost or demon or whatever it is listens to her and complies. <laughs> It's crazy and it's scary and it's really funny, but you know, there might be something going on with that particular little girl that I'm sure we'll find out as the show goes on. You know, she may not have a fear of these ghosts. She might just see them as friends or like companions. And, you know, she doesn't see them for what they are and how scary they can be. So who the hell knows, but we'll find out soon enough. And fortunately with this teaser, we also have a premiere date of October 9th of this year. So in just about a month, we will be sitting down scaring the hell out of ourselves watching what I'm sure it is to be an amazing follow-up, The Haunting of Bly Manor. What did you guys think of this teaser? What are your thoughts and feelings? I want to hear from you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're looking forward to this show as much as I am. Do you have a favorite moment or scene or character from The Haunting of Hill House? I want to hear it wide down below in the comments section. Thanks for watching. The Haunting of Hill House is now streaming on Netflix. The Haunting of Bly Manor hits Netflix next month, October 9th. It's going to be awesome. Have a great rest of your day, everybody. Thanks for watching. And of course, until next time, may the force be with you.